Hi, my name is Rob Weinsheimer. I'm a pediatric surgeon here at Swedish. And I'll be talking to you about appendicitis. Appendicitis means inflammation of the appendix, and the appendix is a finger-like structure that lives in the right lower part of the abdomen and is connected to the first part of the large intestine. It doesn't really serve a function that we know of, and appendicitis happens when the appendix becomes blocked either a piece of food or sometimes an infection of the intestine leads to swelling of the appendix. Once it becomes blocked and the circulation to the appendix gets cut off, then it can lead to rupture or perforation and that can be a life-threatening infection. How do you know if your child maybe has appendicitis? Well, basically the, the story typically is one of a vague belly or abdominal pain that then over the course of a half a day or a day moves to the right lower part of the abdomen. Your child may have fever, um, will likely not want to eat, and may, may be vomiting. If these symptoms arise, then the thing to do is to seek medical attention right away. Once you seek medical attention, what typically happens is the doctor will get the complete history, will do an examination, and then sometimes will need further tests, which can consist of blood tests and sometimes imaging. If the diagnosis of appendicitis is confirmed, then the treatment most times is to do a surgery called an appendectomy, which is a removal of the appendix. That's either done through an incision in the right lower part of the abdomen or using a camera and three small incisions. Sometimes if the appendix has already ruptured, then the doctor will decide to treat with antibiotics first and perhaps delay surgery. You can uh, find more information about appendicitis on our website and I hope this was a helpful introduction.